Are you okay? I will be, thanks. Who was that man, and why was he chasing me? I don't know, but listen, we need to get rid of him. I don't see anybody. If someone was following us, we must have lost them. Well, that's something, at least. We're going to stay here for a little while, figure out what to do. You're safe with me, Anna. Look, I'll just go and call this into the station. We can dust your apartment, figure out who that scumbag was. No. Ed. Anna, the note we found in your uncle's journal... What? What note? What are you not telling me? Anna. Maybe we should trust him, Ed. What note? It's up to you. I think we should trust him. Thank you. Now, will someone tell me what's going on? I'm sorry we were keeping you out of the loop, Detective, but we had to. You had to, huh? We found this note from my uncle. And you thought this meant me? We couldn't be sure. Look, that explosion in the lab was no accident. Dr. Morales was working on a powerful new technology, and someone used his own technology to kill him. If Dr. Morales has a vault somewhere with more of this technology contained inside, we need to secure it before anyone else can get to it. I really should report this. No, you can't do that. If Morales was right, and someone on the force was after him... Please, Detective, just give us 24 hours. Help us. Surely you've broken a few regulations in your time. Ah, well, you got me there. 24 hours. No more secrets. Deal. Good, because I got a couple questions need answering. Ask away. You'd better tell us what all the hubbub is about. What did Morales create? I'll show you. Using the lab's super collider, Dr. Morales discovered a new type of twin particle. The particle always comes in pairs, a positive and a negative, yin and yang. Bound together, they form the substructure of the electron. These two particles actually occupy the same space by vibrating through space-time. We call this vibration resonance. Let's, uh, pretend that all made sense. What's the big deal? The big deal isn't knowing that these particles exist, it's in what you can do with them. Dr. Morales was designing resonance devices that could neutralize the effect of resonance, allowing you to separate the twin particles. Two particles, two devices. You can place these devices some distance apart and then release the particles trapped inside. The particles instantly snap back together, collide in the exact center, and release a large amount of energy. Anything within a certain area of effect is completely pulverized at an atomic level. The further you pull the particles apart before disabling the devices, the larger the area of effect. In fact, uh, Dr. Morales and I developed a precise formula predicting the inverse relationship. All right, all right. So you take two devices, separate them, and when you shut them off, whatever's in the middle goes boom. Well, yeah. You could have just said that. So what's in this vault? I didn't even know of its existence until earlier today, so I can't be sure. But I'm guessing it's a repository of all his research into resonance particles, including his designs for the resonance devices used to separate them. Maybe even prototypes. Whatever is in it, it's dangerous in the wrong hands. And now that Dr. Morales is dead, it's just out there waiting to be found. But we're gonna be the ones to find it. So what you're saying now is that the explosion in Morales' lab was not an accident. The way that hole was cut out of the lab, it had to be a resonance weapon. But Dr. Morales couldn't have caused it himself. An event of that size would require two very precisely placed devices miles apart with the lab in the center. This was no accident. So what would a resonance weapon look like? Dr. Morales was designing these resonance devices for peaceful applications. But, weaponizing them would be fairly simple. The devices would be pretty small, 
softball size, maybe. By placing a device on either side of a target, calculating the distance required to achieve the intended area of effect, and synchronizing their release with some kind of uh, radio detonator. Or a cell phone. Sure, or a cell phone. You could take out anything you wanted to. So I could place resonance devices, say, in a doorway, and vaporize someone's heart as they walk through. Well, <laughs> it's not technically vaporizing. Or pull them farther away and erase a whole building from existence. I suppose. If I mounted these things on planes or satellites, just how big could you make this blast? Well, there's no theoretical limit. My god. So this vault has to be destroyed. What? No! Unlimited destructive power. Are you kidding me? No, that's only if the technology is used incorrectly. Anna, your uncle wanted these resonance particles to bring about a new age of peace and human prosperity. Imagine it. Unlimited clean energy, faster than light travel, instant communication over unlimited distances. This was your uncle's dream. You can't let that die. No, I'm not gonna let you put this woman in danger. Or did you already forget that someone tried to kill her tonight? Enough! All this talk is pointless unless we find the vault before the people who killed my uncle do. My uncle left this task to me with his last words. So whether we destroy the vault or make sure the research gets into the right hands, the choice is mine. Is there a problem with that? Good. Now, Ed, how do we find this vault? Well, um, my best guess is... Shut up. Get behind me. Come on out. Hands where I can see him. Okay, okay. Don't shoot. I'm coming out. I told you someone was following us. Who are you? My name is Ray. Ray Abbott. I was just walking through the park. Is he with them? With who? I swear, I'm alone. Wait a second. Haven't I seen you before? I don't... I don't know. Not that I know of. You walked by us in the hospital. Were you listening to us there, too? Okay, look. I'm a journalist. The Abbott Post? Online? I was at the hospital working on another story, and I heard the two of you talking about this vault and how the police may be involved. I smelled the story, so I followed you guys. Ray Abbott! I've seen his picture in the news! You're the guy who wrote that story about the vice president. One in the same. Great. A fucking blogger. Investigative journalist? I want to help you. No. No more people. It was supposed to just be Anna and me. Well, I guess if I can't stick around, I could just run with what I've got so far. You son of a bitch. Look, you don't know it, but you need me. Yeah, right. You need information, right? Well, that's my bread and butter. I have contacts. People who live under the radar. You need to know something, they can get it. Crooks, you mean. I've exposed more bad guys than you ever will. Now look here. No, he's right. We need his help. You sure? Yes. And if there is corruption in the police force, we could use his blog to help expose it. It's not a blog. It's a reputable news source. I swear to God, if you step out of line... I get it. You can trust me. The day I trust a muckraker like you. Guys, we're not gonna get anything done tonight. There's a motel on the corner. Let's cool off, get some rest, and think about our next move. We'll regroup right here in the morning. Agreed. Hey! Give that back. That's none of your business. This cutscene went through...